Hello, hello everyone. How are you all doing today? Well, welcome to the class act. 10 minutes that can change your life with Louise Mark. Well, you know what? I may be over just a little bit, but I will do my best to stay within the 10 minute boundaries. I haven't come before you in a minute. And I don't want to just come before you to just come before you. I want to have something that the Lord would allow me to share with you. And sometimes it's not necessarily always um, biblical based or Christian based, but it will be Christian based because, you know, I am a believer. You know that already. But it could be some other things to enhance, to inspire, to encourage. It's always going to be to enhance, to encourage you, to inspire you. And to, um, you know, give you something to think about. Okay, of course, it does not all rest with me. But, of course, I just wanted to greet you today and share a little bit with you. Um, today, I will share, you know how it is when you were in school and for you to leave your classroom, you had to have a hall pass. You were given a pass, right? Or you would be in trouble if you were caught in the pa in the uh, in the halls without a pass. So, but with that said... I want to share with you today my topic, and hi, again, hello, 10 Minutes with Louise Mar Class Act. I'm just all backwards. I guess I'm excited to see you all. Issue a forgiveness pass today. That's my topic for you, um, a forgiveness pass. And what I'm, what I'm sharing is, it says, today genuinely love, care, and forgive someone or one another today. It's interesting how individuals can um, forgive friends, they can forgive enemies, they can forgive bosses, leaders, politicians, attorneys, um, co-workers, strangers, um, what I have here, but not forgive blood relatives, family members, siblings, um, sisters, brothers, what I have here, cousins, nieces, nephews, etc. all family classes. Um, I hope this is um, going forward. But anyway, so again, this is forgiveness, um, issue of forgiveness past today, if you're just coming on. Matthew 18, 21 to 22 says, Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, I don't say to you seven times, but 77 times. So this is Matthew 18, 21 to 22. And of course, I'm trying not to hold you too long. And good morning, um, Denise. Good morning. Hi, Denise. You need a hair care person. Denise is the one to go to, okay? She's my hair care um, so my hair care specialist. So thank you for coming on, Denise. You know, I had to give you that plug, right? Okay. So in sharing, so for, if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. That's Matthew six fourteen through 15. What if God never God, forgive that word. What if God never um, forgave us and Jesus didn't die for the world's sins? Everyone would be headed straight to a burning hell. And there would be utter chaos in this world we live in. There, you know, I'm not going to scare you, but I must share this. There is not much preaching these days on hell. Um, and I just shared recently, I believe, with two people how I got saved from a hell message being preached, right, in vacation Bible school. But let me share two scriptures with you. You can read these um, chapters for yourself when you get a chance. Um, this is not my word. This is the Holy Spirit inspired word of God. This is from the word itself. This is Isaiah 5 verse 14. It says, therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude pumps um, go in their multitude and their pump, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. Let me repeat. Therefore, hell 
have enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude, thank you for the hearts, and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. Isaiah 5, 14. Another scripture, Jesus shares this. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. This is Luke 16, 23. So not to scare you, but hell, scripture talks about hell. So I'm talking about a past here, forgiveness past, in case you're just coming on. And thank you for coming on, and good morning to you all. Or good day, good afternoon when you um, re, um, see this um, live. Please understand, I'm not trying to scare you into heaven. But I can say for me, I was saved. I just mentioned that earlier. I was saved on hearing a hell message and watching a movie on hell um, years ago before going to high school. And I'm like, I am not going there. So that was not a place for me. So I don't know about you. But this is unforgiveness. So, But you can pause and receive Jesus in your heart today now to, to get your past, past hell, stamped eternal life, right? Okay. Jesus took the sins of the world to the cross. Those who accused him, those who lied on him, those who conspired, those who nailed him to the cross, those who denied him, all. He did not just forgive you. Who thinks you should be the only one who receives forgiveness and not have it extended to anyone else but to all there are times people would want someone may want forgiveness but do not want to extend forgiveness Jesus died for the sins of the world he died for the sins of the world so where will you issue your forgiveness past some today may be dealing with um, a sickness or not maybe or harboring what someone has done to you or said something to you over 50 years ago. You're still harboring this and you're still carrying this burden. You haven't forgiven this person. It could have been done 50 years ago or it could have been done yesterday. You have to forgive, right? Think about it. Seriously, what? Imagine if Jesus did not forgive us, if God did not forgive us. God genuinely and sincerely loved us because in John 3, 16, we know what the word tells us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus on the cross said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus forgives us while he was on the cross. Forgive them. And here it is, people. I say people because I want to be careful. I'm not leaving myself out. Individuals would refuse to forgive other people. You have to forgive people to move forward. It's been said forgiveness frees one person, forgive, uh, frees you. But forgiveness frees both individuals. So we forgive everyone else in our lives who have offended us. But there are place, times we won't forgive family members. Release these people, forgive them and forgive yourself. You want healing in your mind, spirit, body and soul. You want your limbs to operate right. You want healness, whole, forgive people. Um, it's, you have to forgive. Jesus gave us a pass on the cross when he forgave the world. So who are you not giving a pass to today? Give someone a pass of forgiveness. Because you could not go anywhere, like I started off with saying in school, if you go, if you were caught in a hall, you, you, you were punished or you were reprimanded for being in a hall without a pass. Christ forgave us. God loved us so much. He gave his only begotten son. Forgiveness is so important today. We must forgive one another. Don't forgive everyone else. As I mentioned earlier, your coworkers, your friends, your leaders, your politicians, your whoever it may be, but you, you refuse to forgive your family member. And I'm not talking externally. This is internally also in my family line. I don't know about your family line, but we have to forgive one another. Imagine if the world, did, if God did not forgive this world, and I'm repeating maybe in some places because this is important. Where would this world be in total chaos? 
complete chaos. It's chaos now. So imagine if some of us have not forgiven some of those in our lives, but because Christ loves so much for us. It's twice in scripture it states um, forgiveness. When Jesus was on the cross, he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. And in the book of Acts, Stephen, when he is being stoned, he lifts up his eyes into heaven and he sees heaven open up and he sees God on the throne and Jesus standing to his right hand side. Two places in scripture where it speaks of Jesus standing. Well, you can Google that for yourself, but it's two scriptures. And I believe it's in Psalms, one of them, and the other uh, place it speaks of, and quote me if I'm wrong or direct a message me if I'm incorrect, but in the book of Acts, it speaks of Jesus standing at the right hand and of the throne. So I believe it was David that may have quoted that before. So you can do your homework there to find that out. But in book of Acts, so um, this is where Stephen says, forgive them for they know not what they do as well. That's twice it said, forgive them. So we must follow the examples of Jesus Christ forgiving um, us, the world, the people. He died for the world. And if you want forgiveness, you can't even pray. Jesus said, you have to go, you have to be forgiven in prayer first. And I have that passage here as well. It's, it's in Matthew, and I think it's in all the synoptic gospels. We have to forgive one another before we can forgive. It says here, I think before you, he says, if you, I quoted already, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. I, I'm glad I'm grateful to God that he forgives me for my sins. Uh, and I, I hope you would be glad also that you're forgiven for what you have done. So extend the forgiveness pass to someone today in your life. Do that. Free yourself and free that other individual. Now, when you have done that genuinely from your heart, God knows that. And that person, if they do not receive it, guess what? You have done what was required of you according to the word. You have extended the, the path of forgiveness. Jesus did it on the cross. You have extended it. Now you move freely. That's all I could share with you. I was inspired, of course, as I shared this information with someone. And they said, you know what? You should um, share that with the class act. And I've been prayerful not to just come on, to come on as I shared with someone else on yesterday and with her as well, but to have something to say. And the world needs forgiveness today. Of course, we see what's happening in, in, in your, um, um, Russia with Russia and Ukraine. I, please forgive me if I'm saying it correctly, but Ukraine. So pray for those areas. Um, pray for our world. We need forgiveness with one another in our families. It's important. Not just talk. Um, when someone passes, speak to the living where they can hear you because when they're gone, guess what? It's too late. You can't speak to people when they're gone. So I hope I have not been totally over my 10 minutes too much. This has been um, Louise Mark, 10 minutes that can change your life, encourage you, um, enhance your life, just and to empower you and to share um, living, lively um, information with you. So you can inbox me, um, share or uh, comment. I will respond at my earliest convenience. Thank you so much for chiming in. Thank you um, for coming on and watching. Thank you, Betty. And I see some Peggy and the rest of you who come on. I think I see um, Mark my husband and so many others who, who Earl Dennis Monique um, blessings upon you all Cynthia flowers thank you all for chiming in share this on forgiveness all right I appreciate you have an amazing amazing Tuesday and for which day you do view this but it's now being shared on Tuesday thank you not the recordings but this message today is going out to you today well anyway you got what I'm saying thank you so much all right, this is life, so you know sometimes we say things, so love on me, I'm loving on you. Thank you so much for chiming in. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.